again, really? Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. You're gonna have to pull a little bit. Come on, fella. Get that ear out of there. Yeah, there you go. These silly critters. Oh, I got you, Ellie. <laughs> Look at that idiot, keep going. Oh, are we going the other way? Okay. Howdy everyone. Dad's just getting ready for some inclement weather we have coming. Ellie, come here. Ellie, don't get squished now. A lot of people will be sad. We were supposed to wake up to like over an inch of rain. Um, this is all we got. About two hundredths. You can see it's dry right after the top. It's just fine, whatever. We're not growing a crop right now anyway. But there's supposed to be some snow and some wind coming. So getting these set up. Also later today we got a demo coming. It's a rock picker and we're gonna take that over and try to clean up a feedlot. Um, so if it did if it did keep raining, that wouldn't work very well for that job, but it doesn't seem like we're gonna be getting much. And with these cold temperatures that are coming, we gotta get the heater going in here. This is the pump, the submersible pump right there runs I don't know, 100 or so feet in the ground, and that's what pumps all the water and pushes it to all of our water tanks across the farm. And when it gets cold, this stuff freezes up, and if you're uh, unlucky enough, it can blow some, blow some pipes. So we'll get this plugged in. As you can see, we've had trouble here a few times. <laughs> oh man, it's fun. All right. And then, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be too hot in here, just above freezing, but you can see, uh, I don't know how they did that, but a lot of mice and rats love to climb in here and feel some heat during the winter. So we'll come back in a little bit. Oh, I can feel that right now. It is, it is boiling. Doesn't need to be that hot. You girls waste a lot, especially down here. When you get to the end, there's often a little less corn in the mix, and so it's not as tasty for them, and then they try sorting it, which is basically them flipping out all this stuff. But we're gonna clean that up, pick it back up, and throw it in the bunk. Don't do it again. Rock picker will be showing up soon and then we'll get to work. So dad just took off down the road with our four wheel drive and our tillage machine. He's putting that in our neighbor's shed. They got a little extra room. And got the tire pumped up. Looks like they made it. All right, you guys want to introduce yourselves and talk about this machine you brought here today? Well, I'm Matt Murray, and uh, this is a Lenko five foot stone picker. This is the smallest of the stone pickers that we offer. 
Um, we also have a seven and a half foot and 10 footers, and we also do some custom size. We've done up to 18 feet. This one is, we, we primarily like to see an 80 to 120 horse tractor with uh, 15 gallons of hydraulic flow. Um, and it works real simple. It's, it's on the same, same lines as what a potato digger would be. So you're gonna have a digger blade that goes into the ground. Um, you can run that about six to eight inches under the ground is ideal. Um, it's just gonna pull everything out uh, the, the chains will uh, help sift the, the stones and the dirt. The dirt will fall through, back onto the ground, stones go out, end up in the box in the back. Um, as you go up here, uh, right down in here, you'll see the shaker, and we'll get this activated here when we run it. Um, but what that shaker does, it just provides some movement in the chain, so the chains bounce um, as the product moves across it. So any sticky dirt or anything will just, uh, it'll help it fall back through onto the ground, which mm -hmm. is ideal. And then you want to take primarily just just uh, stones to the back. Yep, and then you still have some more yes. sifting that can yep. occur in the back here. Yep, yep. The, the idea here with putting chain in the bottom instead of, uh, instead of a hard bottom was that it, it allows um, all the organic, as much organic material as possible to stay in the field. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, another thing to point out, we are all hydraulic. One of the reasons that we do all hydraulic uh, is it gives you a lot of control. Um, it's easily easy to control your speeds, but more importantly, when you're dealing with stones, you will get jammed up. So uh, with, with a hydraulic, you can just reverse your mm -hmm. hydraulics, uh, pop the stone loose and keep going. Where with a mechanical drive, um, stone gets jammed in there, you're getting out with a crowbar and a yep. hammer and, and, uh, you and maybe a torch. Throwing th yeah, sometimes a torch. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and it's it's only got two sets of hydraulics on it. Yep. One is just to uh, run the chains, of course, and then the other is the dump, so you don't have to hop in the back and start throwing those hand, right. the stones out by right, hand. Right, it's, right. it's real quick. Uh, we, we do offer, uh, as an option for some people that have maybe more hydraulic ports or want to do a bump, uh, uh, tow it off a drawbar, mm -hmm. you can also do uh, hydraulic lift cylinders mm -hmm. that, uh, that just attach they attach right here and then it can lift up the uh yep. the digger bed uh, that way because right now we're hooked right to the yep. three point and so yeah, we're yep. using that hydraulic up and down to yeah. get into the ground and then also kind of put it in road mode almost yep so we're going to head over to the north farm and get into that big feed lot and i guess start picking up some stones and see how it works i'm pretty excited about it this will be a lot of fun and it's going to make a pretty good improvement on that feed lot hooked up to the 7520 today it's going to be plenty of horse should work good. If you saw Monday's video, we did some light tillage out here in this feedlot to make everything run smoothly. Of course, we got a little drizzle, so that's gonna maybe gum some stuff up a little bit. But there's certainly some rocks and some stones out there. Seeing a bunch of them right there. And we're cleaning these lots in haul manure. We can see we're chucking rocks into our fields, and it's a bummer because then you can get that in a combine or just hit various pieces of equipment on those rocks and stones. So you can see we got some rocks stuff like this now do you think this is too small or are we gonna get that one you'll get that one here. yeah you know if you just kept doing that i wouldn't yeah, need this machine need to run it yeah so <laughs> before we get started we'll engage that shaker so it kicks off more of that dirt just a turnbuckle yep and if you've got an extra function on your uh on your remote you can put a hydraulic yeah here that'd fit in there it. easy right. yep and so you can see there's big kind of teeth on here and that just makes it rough riding and balances that chain more. And that's real nice. This guy comes with it, right? And he adjusts it for you. <laughs> yeah, I just get all set up. It's a good deal. <laughs> We are rock picking machines. So I'm seeing all kinds of little stones out here. We're, this is gonna take a while because we're five foot wide and I'm driving slow and I don't know what I'm doing. But we'll figure it out because I got plenty of time to do so. We're certainly getting some rocks and when you look behind the machine, you can see that there's no rocks left behind it. Unfortunately, we did plant sorghum out here and I didn't do deep enough and enough tillage and so there's uh, pieces of stems and some dirt clods because, you know, it's a cattle feedlot. And so they did a lot of, they got a lot of compaction going on in here. And this is how easy it is to dump it. You just 
pull back the lever, go all the way, pull ahead a little bit, and let her back down. Just noticing we're low on hydraulic fluid, so Dad's bringing me a jug. There's no question about it, it is picking the rocks up. Just the one issue I'm having, as you can see, there's quite a bit of extra trash it's bringing up with it. Once again, we're in a feedlot, terrible conditions that had something planted in it nonetheless. Getting a lot of rocks, and that's what we're here for. We're gonna head down the farm and take a dump, or dump the rocks out of the back here. So when we come out front here, we can see rock, rock. Those are pretty small ones, of course. Some bigger ones up there. And then we walk back here. And it is clean. So it seems like it's working pretty good. We're getting right along. I'm more than half done. Only five foot wide, but we're only doing a feedlot. Granted, this is our biggest feedlot. It would be nice having some auto steer on the tractor. That way it could run perfectly and hit every square inch and not have to try so hard steering. So with the same hydraulic you dump with, it picks the back end up, and then that makes it so those clumps, they don't end up in the tank as easy, and they can kind of bounce down and break up and fall through. So there's a few adjustments you can make when you're having issues. We're almost done here. Definitely hit the spots I wanted to, and I'm not gonna touch that. There's a bale feeder there, and that long stemmy hay ain't gonna run through the machine at all. So we'll go dump and then head home. I hit along there, did a big swath right down the middle. We're gonna have a lot less rocks ended up out in our field when we're hauling manure, so that's really nice. And we'll have this machine around for a couple weeks, I think, and we'll be able to run it in a different, a few different places and fields. Well, let's head for home. It's getting dark and I'm not used to this daylight savings time. It's getting to be about five o'clock and I feel like I need to turn the lights, the headlights on already. So I've mentioned it's gonna get really cold the next week. So while I was picking rocks, dad's been putting winter fuel in these tractors and getting it to mix in there. It's pretty similar to the winter air you gotta put in your tires. He also took the semi and took it over to Storla Station to get some number one fuel in that as well. And uh, when he gets back, we're gonna back that semi in here. 
I gotta put some winter fuel in that tractor. Yeah, but I think we can start getting some equipment parked to park back away. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed the video with the rock picker. I hope to do some more rock picking, especially since it's not your grandpa's rock picker. It's the Lenco rock picker and I don't have to use my hands. So we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Ellie, did you go online shopping again? You silly goose.